Good day, dear learners! Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Doc Kilmak. Are you ready, class, for the next lesson? So if you're ready, just sit back, relax, and listen carefully to the topic to be discussed for today. Alright, class, let's begin! The topic I will be discussing for today's lesson is all about measures of central tendency for ungrouped data. Let's have first a warm-up list. Order the numbers from least to greatest. Number 1. We have negative 7, negative 4, negative 15, negative 9, negative 5, negative 2. This is simply negative 15, negative 9, negative 7, negative 5, negative 4, and negative 2. As you can see, the list in the given numbers is negative 15 and the greatest is negative 2. How about number 2? Negative 70, negative 21, negative 36. 0, negative 54, negative 22. This is simply equal to negative 70, negative 54, negative 36, negative 22, negative 21, and 0. As you can see, negative 70 is the least among the negative numbers, and 0 is the greatest. Divide number 3. 1,820 divided by 4. This is simply equal to 455. Number 4. 8,855 divided by 10. This is simply equal to 885.5. Number 5. 10,275 divided by 25. This is simply equal to 411. Consider the vocabulary we're going to encounter in this particular topic. We have the mean, median, mode, range, and the outlier. The mean is the sum of the data values divided by the number of data items. Take note class, the mean is sometimes called the average. The median is the middle value of an odd number of data items arranged in order. For an even number of data items, the median is the average of the two middle values. The mode is the value or values that occur most often, the most frequent score. When all of the data values occur the same number of times, take note, there is no mode. The range is the difference between the greatest and least values. It is used to show the spread of the data in a data set. Consider example number one. Finding the mean, median, mode, and range for a group data. We have here the sets of data 4, 7, 8, 2, 1, 2, 4, and 2. Let's determine first the mean. Add the given values. So we have 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2. This is simply equal to 30. Divide the sum by the number of items. As you can see, we have the sum and we have the number of items which is 8. So let's divide 30 by 8. So this is simply equal to 3.75. Therefore, 
the mean is 3.75. This time, we're going to determine the median. The first thing you have to do is to arrange the values in order. So we have 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 7, and 8. There are two middle values since the given data is even. So find the mean of these two values. As you can see, we have 2 and 4, which are the two middle values. So let's get the average. 2 plus 4 is simply equal to 6, then divide by 2, so which is equal to 3. Therefore, the median is 3. This time, we're going to determine the mode. The value 2 occurs three times. So arranging this from least to greatest, so you have 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 7, 8. As you can see, 2 occurs three times. So therefore, the mod is 2. This time, let's determine the range. Subtract the least value from the greatest value. So as you can see, we have the least value, which is 1, and the greatest value is 8. Let's get the difference. So 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. Therefore, the range is 7. Example number 2. Find the mean, median, mode, and range of the data set. Let's determine first the mean. Add the values. So we have 10 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 12. This is just equal to 48. Divide the sum by the number of items. So we have the sum which is 48. And we have the number of items which is 7 items. Let's divide. 48 divided by 7. So this is just equal to 6.86. Therefore, the mean is just equal to 6.86. This time, we determine the median. Arrange the values in order. So, we have 4, 4, 5, 5, 8, 10, and 20. There is only one middle value. As you can see, 5 is the middle value. Therefore, the median is 5. This time, we determine the mode. The value 4 and 5 occurs two times. So as you can see here, 4 and 5 occurs two times. So therefore, the mode is simply 4 and 5. The mode are 4 and 5. In this data, we have a bimodal since there are two modes. Let's determine the range. As so you can see, 4 is the least number and 12 is the greatest number. Let's get the difference. So we have 12 minus 4 is simply equal to 8. Therefore, the range is 8. Example number 3. The line plot shows the number of kilometers ran by each of the 17 members of the marathon team in a week. Find the mean and median. Which measure best describes this data? Justify your answer. So consider the given data here. As you can see, we have the following data. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, and 16, 16. The line plot shows the number of kilometers each of the 17 members of the marathon team ran in the week. So let's determine the mean. 
Nó nguyên chân em Nam Mô So as you can see, let's add the given data to get the mean. So we have 153 divided by the number of items, which is 17. So it is simply equal to 9. The mean is 9. As you can see, the mean best describes the data set because the data is clustered fairly evenly about two areas. So as you can see. Now let's consider the media. As you can see here class, six is the middle value. So therefore, the median is just equal to six. the data set. For this reason, the mean may not be the best measure to describe a set of data with an outlier. Consider this given example, mean with outlier. So we have the given data 12, 27, 30, 31, 35, 35, 38, and 41. As you can see, the outlier here is 12. So we're going to compute the mean with the outlier. So we have 12 plus 27 plus 30 plus 31 plus 35 plus 35 plus 38 plus 41 divided by 8 is equal to 31.125. Solving the mean without the outlier, which is 12. So we have 27 plus 30 plus 31 plus 35 plus 35 plus 38 plus 41 divided by 7 since we remove the outlier which is 12. This is simply equal to 33.857. As you can see, the computed mean is greater without the outlier than the computed mean with the outlier. So as you can see here, Before we're going to end our lesson for today, let me first read to you a simple passage from the Bible coming from the Philippians 4, verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer 
and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Take what class skills are developed through constant correct practice, and there will always be a room for improvement. That's all for today. Stand by for more lessons. Stay safe, everyone, and may God bless us all.